All right, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. Special thanks to Alex Karanja for that insightful interview in the field of media. But right about now, we are about to take it uh, a notch higher uh, with Tech Talk. Tech Talk is just a, a segment that we'll be talking about tech or focusing on somebody who has built a business that is related or in technology and our guest of the day uh, is Nelson Armstrong who is the CEO and founder of an M group which is based in Akuru. Karibu sana. Thank you for having me. All right. Yeah. Uh, so your camera is number four. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a drill. I always like to uh, tell people help yourself, introduce yourself, show off. Uh, floss kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is Nelson Armstrong, mm -hmm. the CEO and founder of NM Group Limited. Mm -hmm. We are a company that is based in Nakuru, mm -hmm. but you're not localized in Nakuru. Uh -huh. You know, as a company, we work for all clients in mm -hmm. all countries. We Sorry. are limited. We have clients in the US, we have uh -huh. clients in South Africa, uh -huh. in Dubai, uh, but Kenya being our main. Uh, it's a company that I started in 2012 mm -hmm. out of passion. Uh -huh. It's something that uh, I've really brought it from down to strictly out of passion out it of wasn't passion. being broke uh, no it's not you were not motivated by <laughs> 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 it was well, a passion well, you had. being broke is part of the push yes, <laughs> to wake up. Um, right. but uh, it's out of passion i really i'm in love with computers uh -huh. and we are the new generation that's taking over uh -huh. yes so yeah. nm group we specialize in uh, digital marketing uh -huh. we do web development and web design uh -huh. those are two different things uh -huh. uh, and uh Another thing that we also do is consultations. Uh -huh. Yes, we do consultations. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Out of all these things you've listed, which mm -hmm. one brings the, the most money? Which one is your your <laughs> Pogba? Your poor Pogba? Well, our core is web development. Web development. Web development and, uh, and software development. All right. Web development and software development yes. is your core. Yes. Why did you choose Nakuru? Because many multinationals uh, mm -hmm. will come to the country. Mm -hmm. They'll focus in Nairobi. Uh, chances are very high they might consider Kampala, mm -hmm. Tanzania, but they come to Nairobi because it's the capital of East Africa. Uh, uh, Nairobi is still the capital of Kenya, <laughs> but you chose a different town. Yes. Uh, I'd like to know more about this. Well, um, this is what I can say. Sometimes if you want to know how, how much you can take as an individual, uh -huh. You got the desert. Uh -huh. If you can survive there, you can basically survive in the harshest environment. Uh -huh. And for many people who have survived the environment in Nakuru, uh -huh. they are very successful entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. Big corporates, big companies which have started in Nakuru, uh -huh. they are still here up to today. Look. And you took your time to study. Yes. The corporates that came before you. Yes. The guys who paved the way for y you. Yes. All right. We won't mention names mm -hmm. as at now, mm -hmm. but what are some of the attributes that you give to their survival? What are some of the reasons you think they have survived? Because they started in Nakuru and uh, they experienced this and that. Number one, the consumer in Nakuru is de very different. Uh -huh. uh, they are very reserved. Uh -huh. They take their time. Uh -huh. And also there's that mentality that everything good comes from Nairobi. Uh -huh. If you want new clothes, you go to Italy. Uh -huh. If you want um, uh, <laughs> to be taken a photo, you come to Nairobi. Uh -huh. So we wanted to change that perception uh -huh. to create opportunities. Because if you're going to grow this country, uh -huh. you have to make sure that every town has something to offer. Uh -huh. And in Nakuru, we are there uh -huh. to offer the same service that instead of you coming to Nairobi, mm -hmm. you can still have the same bespoke service in Nakuru. All right. So do you have a centers. case where you have clients coming from Nairobi to Nakuru because you're given the best product? We have. Mm -hmm. We have. We this have. is a testimony. Yes, yeah, a testimony. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many clients who have come to Nakuru. Uh -huh. uh, the last client we had was yesterday. Uh -huh. He came all the way from Homa Bay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. He said, uh, if I find that you have a, a true office in Nakuru, uh -huh. <laughs> then you're giving you the job. Uh -huh. Because everything else is, is, is okay. Uh -huh. But I just want to see how comes you're doing this in Nakuru. You're doing all these good things. And it's a things. question I'm getting from many of my clients, especially in Nairobi. Uh -huh. Why don't you move to Nairobi? Uh -huh. Yeah. What about those employees that I'm employing there? All right. Yeah, Nairobi is so competitive. Uh -huh. And we're also competing from there. All right. Yes. And your drive is that for this country to develop, each mm. and every corner has to develop. Yes, true. That is the way to take this country to the next step. That's true. Wonderful. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Nelson, uh, CEO and founder of NM Group, an IT company based in Nakuru, is, is in studio with us. Your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. Hashtag is one morning. Hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. So uh, moving on swiftly, mm -hmm. uh, what is your background in education? How did you find yourself here? Uh, number one, I've, I've done network engineering myself. Mm -hmm. 
but it's not something that I'm doing anymore. Uh -huh. Well, I do it um, sometimes when consulted to, uh -huh. to some of my friends, uh -huh. that are not for clients, but my background is in IT. Uh -huh. I started to love IT, uh, I think when I finished class eight, uh -huh. I went to my cousin's place. They had a computer, Pentium One, I think it was a Pentium One, a uh -huh. very old machine. Uh -huh. And they just taught me how to put a CD and uh -huh. put earphones and play music. And, and you're the happiest. <laughs> uh -huh. I couldn't believe that I can hear songs from the computer. Uh -huh. And from there, I knew that this is where I want to venture into. Uh -huh. And when I went to high school, uh, I found that there were these computer studies. Uh -huh. And that's where I grew the, the passion. Uh -huh. My high school teacher also did a great job in inspiring us, uh -huh. especially in programming. Uh -huh. Yes, and that's where, the, from there, I never looked back. I've had so many people ask me, uh, this field is so much flooded. Uh -huh. Uh, but when you're a real swimmer, you don't worry. You go to the <laughs> <laughs> when you're a real swimmer, you don't worry. Yeah. All right. So I saw something like uh, app uh, development. Yes. In your portfolio, this yes. is something that you do for clients. Yes. So app development. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you develop apps for? Individuals or corporates? Or who's coming for these kind of things? We do for individuals, do for corporates. You see, uh -huh. there's these uh, uh, apps like uh, Uber. Uh -huh. Uh, we have Taxify, uh -huh. we have Wasili, uh -huh. yes. Well, I'm not going to mention some of them because of non-disclosure uh -huh. agreements, uh -huh. but we do basically development for code for them. Uh -huh. We develop the code and we launch those products. Uh -huh. We also do softwares for companies. Let's uh -huh. say a hotel needs an ERP system. So some of the companies you've mentioned are multinationals. Yes. So uh, when they're introducing the app mm -hmm. into the Kenyan market, mm -hmm. they need a Kenyan to tailor it to fit the Kenyan market? Or well, uh, there are some companies which consult. Uh, they tell you to do market testing. Uh -huh. They tell you to do user testing. Uh -huh. So there are companies which will do that uh -huh. locally because uh, they are developing the product for the local market. Mm -hmm. So we've had such clients mm -hmm. who tell us to test products for them. How is the testing process like? <laughs> you tell me, download the app and use it and give us feedback or how no. you go about it? it we, we call it usability. Uh -huh. How is the client interacting? With it. It. Yes. Uh -huh. And is this, uh, how easy is it to use? Uh -huh. Because nowadays people don't want complicated things uh -huh. that put your name, email, ID, your grandfather's uh -huh. name. No, people don't want that. Uh -huh. They want one, two, three steps and they are done. Uh -huh. So we are looking at that. And how easy is it on cross platforms, like maybe small devices, large uh -huh. devices? Uh, how much bundle does it consume? Because uh -huh. nowadays uh, we are conscious of bundle. So such things is what we are looking at. All right. Yes. So when it comes to app development and app testing, yes. uh, you cover all these things. Yes. All right, uh, let's talk about web design mm -hmm. and uh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Software de or digital marketing. Uh, or web software. design uh -huh. uh, and website design. Development. Uh, web website development. Yes. What is the difference? Uh, the design is actually the scripting. Uh -huh. You script, uh, um, you make iterations of how the website is going to look. Uh -huh. It's like a picture. You take a picture uh -huh. and f uh, that is design. This is how the picture is going to look. Uh -huh. uh, so this is how the the software is going to use yes. on to look on my screen yes uh -huh. and then the development is giving it that ability uh -huh. to deliver what you've pictured okay <laughs> so design yeah. is how is it going to look yes how is the interface going to look like let me explain it this way uh -huh. a design is maybe when you want to build a house uh -huh. look for an architect uh -huh. they draw for you a house uh -huh. they don't build it uh -huh. so the people who are going to give that house the life uh -huh. the contractors the and the yes. civil engineers yes so designers are architects yes uh developers <laughs> are the civil engineers now. yes they are Better save. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. And yes. these are services that you offer as well. Yes, we do. All right. So, uh, your clients. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have uh, individual clients or corporate clients? W which one is on that? Which side of the? The higher the side uh, is the corporate clients. The corporate clients. Yes. All right. How do you source for clients? Because so many people are like, I'm a good coder. I've made so many apps. I've come up with a lot of things, but I don't know how to get it to give it to consumers. Well, uh, I don't know if you believe it, but for us, we, we get it through referrals uh -huh. more than marketing. Uh -huh. Marketing is very little. Uh -huh. We actually uh, cannot market. Uh -huh. We cannot take the amount of work that we get. We cannot do marketing. Uh -huh. Yes. So referrals <laughs> is uh, word of mouth. Yes, word of mouth, uh -huh. and also these clients that we work for, mm -hmm. try and give them the, the best that we can do. Right. And through that, we get referrals. So you're marketing, 
which is the best form of marketing, is doing a good job for the clients that you have. Yes. And then they're going to talk about you. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. We'll make them follow us. All right. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. All right. As we move on, the eight guys that you have, uh, is there any that you started with? Yes, up, yeah. there's one who, uh, my secretary, I know she's watching Diana. Uh -huh. We started way back when uh -huh. she was in Form 3. Uh -huh. uh, my company w did not start as a result of studying. Uh -huh. It was out of passion. Uh -huh. What I'm doing right now is self-taught. Uh -huh. I've learned how to code at night. Uh -huh. I've gone through the process from being paid 200 shillings uh -huh. to work for somebody. Uh -huh. Yes, I've gone through that process. So I have those who we've started with, uh -huh. especially my secretary. Your She's secretary. been there through thick and thin. She's been there through thick and thin, yes. and she believed. Yes, she believed. Have you had faces uh, since 2012 till date? Have you had faces where you felt like we are going to shut down? Yes. And I don't know how I'm going to tell this to the people. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, when uh, we had election, mm -hmm. you see, there's nobody who wants to do a website. Uh -huh. There's nobody who wants you to do their marketing. Uh -huh. So it was very hard. It, was, it was very, very hard. hard to get busy. Yes, for actually um, almost eight months we didn't have single almost business. a year. Because yes. I remember we went for the first election. Yes. The second election. Yes. And then there was campaigns before the elections, uh -huh. and it's always a heated time. Yes. So uh, political stability is very important. For very important. Yes. All right. Very How important. many elections have you lived through as a, as a business? Uh, I think uh, it, I can say two elections. Two elections. Yes. All right, so uh, from your experience with elections in Kenya, is there anything you're going to do different in the next election? I think we need to elect leaders mm -hmm. uh, who have youths at heart. Mm -hmm. We've had, uh, you see, when they're campaigning, most of the time they say we want to do policies for youths, mm -hmm. but they do nothing. Mm -hmm. So they don't create business environments. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is what I say. Uh, the politicians, they don't give us money as youths. Mm -hmm. What they just need to create is the business environment. Mm -hmm. And for us, we'll thrive. All we need is a business environment. We yes. need a field to play soccer and we're going to play. Yes. A good business environment uh -huh. and good policies. Uh, because uh, right now to start a business for a young person uh -huh. is not easy. You have to pay this, pay that. It's not easy. All right. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for the wise of wi words of wisdom. But I'd like to know, what are you going to do different mm -hmm. during the period of uh, the next election? As a business, because people are anticipating this. We have already started hearing about uh, the conversations about 2022, mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot bury, the, bury our heads in the sand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a business, what are you guys going to do different? Because you know, this eight months, mm -hmm. things might, might be tough. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we look outside, mm -hmm. not just focusing in, on Kenya. Mm -hmm. We are looking at uh, other m emerging markets mm -hmm. like uh, South Africa uh -huh. uh, and also our neighboring countries. So oh, the they one that we beat at Afcon. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. They can't beat us. We are the best. <laughs> the best. Yeah. So yeah. neighbor, you're looking at other market markets. Markets. So yes. when this market is volatile, yes. you can move to other markets. Yes. So that is a strategy. For Just you, a right? strategy. Wise words, right there. Yes. All right. So mm -hmm. um, I'd like to know uh, the business environment. Since we're talking about the business environment, yes. As a uh, somebody in the IT field, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the challenges you're facing? Oh my God, there's a lot. Uh -huh. Number one, licenses. Uh -huh. uh, we have so many licenses that are required. Uh -huh. Number two, um, like if you want some, there's some machines, special machines that you might want to use here in Kenya. Uh -huh. it, the tax is so high. Uh -huh. And not only that, it takes a lot of time for you to move them in the country. Uh -huh. So uh, the other thing that I've faced, and I've, one of the persons I think mentioned it in the interview, uh -huh is employees. Mm -hmm. I want to say this categorically like you said. Mm -hmm. There is no lack of jobs in Kenya. Uh -huh. There is lack of will. Uh -huh. The people who don't want to start from scratch. Uh -huh. They don't want to do the dirty jobs. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to start and earn 100,000. Uh -huh. It's impossible. Which is never going to happen. It's never going to so happen. Jobs are there uh, and what we require is the will now. We have jobs. Uh -huh. In my company we have jobs. Uh -huh. But somebody comes from university, they say we've done computer science. Uh -huh. And they've done uh, maybe a program, HTML4. Uh -huh. A program is about seven years old. Uh -huh. So it's not current in the market. Uh -huh. So they, they cannot be employed. Uh -huh. Not unless you take them and you... Through training. Yes. Which becomes costly. And, and when you program. train them, uh -huh. the problem is not training. Uh -huh. When you train them, uh -huh. they just go to and do their, their jobs. All right, they go and do <laughs> other things. They leave you. Yes. All right, so will is very important. Yes, will. Jitume. Yes, Jitume. All right. So uh, have you ever had a situation where somebody comes to you and tells you, I can offer you this service and you never knew about this mm -hmm. and it's the most brilliant thing you've heard of. Yes. Uh -huh. In the tech industry, you can't say you know everything. Uh -huh. 
uh, things are popping up every night. Mm -hmm. People are serious coding. They're uh -huh. doing. So I've I've seen those. Uh, somebody comes and tells you an idea uh -huh. you never thought about. Uh -huh. And uh, yes, I've had beautiful those things. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. All right. From the challenges, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things we can do better? Uh, licenses to reduce licenses. Licenses. Let's make it easier for youths to start their businesses and run them. Uh -huh. Yes. Number two. Our schools should, um, let's say our universities, uh -huh. should teach what is current. Uh -huh. Like uh, right now, maybe, I don't know if the universities are, ch are teaching app development. Uh -huh. So by the time they're teaching it, the technology has already moved to something else. Uh -huh. So when you bring your graduates, yeah. you're telling them now you can code in Pascal and all that. Those are outdated <laughs> things. They can never work. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> and okay. COBOL. All right. Yes. So we need to update our curriculum yes. every single day. Yes. That is something we need to do yes. for this country to move forward. Yes. And, and that also, is the only cry. Uh, yeah. Also to empower colleges, uh -huh. uh, to bring forth um, young people. You see, there are people who maybe they didn't score that A, uh -huh. but they have that skill. They have a talent uh -huh. to grow that talent. Because they were forced to do biology and Swahili and things they were not interested yes. in. Yes, Kigugumizi and all that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So yeah. how can people get a hold of your services? Uh, uh, via social media, uh -huh. through our website, mm -hmm. also through our, um, our phone numbers. Just give it all to them. The camera is number four. Uh, uh -huh. Our website is www.nmgroup.co.ke. Uh, on so social media, on Facebook, we are NM Group Limited. On uh, Instagram, NM Group KE. And uh, you can find me on uh, my Twitter handle at Meso Nelly. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, your last remarks to the viewers right now, the people who are watching us, and most of them mm -hmm. are youths, mm -hmm. and most of them, uh, some of them are artists, some mm -hmm. of them are uh, graduates with mm -hmm. no jobs, some of them are going to work after this. Mm -hmm. uh, like the, it's a very diverse audience, so yes. just talk to them one way. This is what I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. As a young person, keep doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, when you start, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. There is nobody who got it easy, mm -hmm. but just keep on working perseverance, put in the hours, and trust God, you're going to break through on the other side. I want to tell you this, that real swimmers are in the deep, mm -hmm. not at the beach. Mm -hmm. So get yourself <laughs> from the beach, dive into the deep. Get yourselves out of the beach and dive into the deep. Yes. That is the word I'll leave you with uh, from the CEO and founder of NM Group, an IT company based in the crew. You can find them on social media. It goes by the name Nelson. So I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Moni every social media platform. Joy Mushasha is coming up uh, next with another amazing interview. So don't go nowhere. Don't touch that down.